All right, so how do you prep for a job? I get this question all the time, so I'm going to give you some quick tips. So first of all, I assume that you have the requisite skills, you have the skills required to do the job. So if you're applying for a React job, you better be sure that you know React, right? It seems common sense, sicko, I suppose. Um, so number one, make sure that you have the skill sets that are required to get the job. Number two, make sure you're, you're aiming for a job that matches your level of skill and experience. If you come out of a, a course and you've never written commercial code before, don't apply for jobs that require three years experience or a senior developer job. You got to be realistic about your expectations. Another thing you got to do is you got to research the company that you're applying to. You have to figure out what what they're working with, what they're doing. Uh, you may be able to find information online about how they test for their positions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You may just do some reconnaissance calls. Give them a call. Find out what's going on. You know, what do you need? What are you looking for? What kind of test are you going to give potential uh, prospects in terms of interview test? So these are all the things that you can do right off the top. So number one, be sure your skills are aligned with the place you're going to get the job at while well, you're going to interview for. Number two, uh, make sure, do some research on that particular company. Make sure you understand what they want, what they're looking for. So it's kind of related to the first, but you can check in in certain, certain companies. You'll be able to find online what kind of tests you might expect, what you might expect in the interview process. They're not all the same. Some places may want you to do algorithms and uh, data structures, tests, and other places will be totally different. So you have to research that. Next thing you, sh you should do when you're preparing to apply for a job, make sure that your resume is reflective of the place of work that you are going to be uh, applying to. So, for example, to use the React example, if uh, you are applying to a React-based job or a job where they want React developers, make sure that you put to the fore, to the front, to the top of your resume, your React skills and experience, not your Django skills. Another thing you should do on your resume, do not, do not put a lot of personal stuff or stuff from high school. You know, I, I like to ski and that kind of stuff. Eh, nobody really cares about that. What they really care about is the skills that you can bring to the uh, table when you go work for them. So align your resume, make sure your skills in the resume are displayed in accordance to what the requirements are at the job. Be sure when you do present, that when you present yourself uh, at the place of work, that you dress well, uh, that you're on time. Don't be late. Don't be late. One of the things I used to do when I was freelancing, if I had a meeting at 10 in the morning, I would plan to be there at least a half an hour earlier. Now, you don't walk in a half an hour earlier because that's rude, but I would get there. If I got there half an hour earlier, I would just sit outside where they didn't see me or in a car where they didn't see me in about five, 10 minutes before the meeting, I would walk in. Why do you want to give yourself a good buffer, half an hour, maybe even an hour if it's really important? You never know. You may run into traffic. Uh, something may happen along the way. You want to give yourself buffer time so that you don't, you're not late. You don't want to be late. One of the major things that uh, employers are looking for when they're looking to hire people is that whether or not the individual that they're looking to hire, whether they're going to be dependable. So yeah. You want to make sure you show up on time, well-dressed. Make sure your resume is aligned to whatever the specific job is. Make sure you have the skills that the job requires. Make sure you're at the level uh, that the job requires. You know, I've, I've seen people where they're just coming out of uh, school or they're coming out of courses and they apply for mid-level jobs. It's not realistic. Think of it this way. If you were learning how to fight, would you want to jump into the ring with Mike Tyson on the first try? No, no, you don't. Or you're learning how to ski. Do you go down the double diamond hill, uh, the triple black double diamond hill? No, you do the baby slopes first. You start off. When you're first getting into the coding game, expect to take on uh, beginner's jobs. That's okay. You learn on the job as you're a developer. So anyway, to prep for the job, to recount, uh, make sure that you have the skills that are aligned. Research the particular company in general. May understand what their culture is, what technologies they use, 
Uh, so if you can get names of people, even better. Uh, be sure that your resume is designed to appeal to the particular company at hand. So if they're looking for React programmers, make sure your React skills are pushed to the front so that it's obvious that uh, you have React skills. And there you go. So those are my top tips for prepping for an interview. Again, show up on time, show up well-dressed, and uh, yeah, good luck.